I'm gonna show you some uh, different ways to drop shot. And I'm gonna stop with, and you know the, the normal way of drop shotting is tying that polymer knot. And how many of you that have caught a fish, when that fish comes in, he's all tangled up, you can't get it untangled, and you, you go, oh man, I'm tired of this. I gotta keep cutting my line and redoing the knot and retying the hook and stuff. I've devised a way, no knots, when the fish comes in, he, you hook him and he slides right down to the sinker. Really, re, really neat way. So basically, um, you still have your little sinker down on the bottom. And what I do is I kind of take a knife and open up that clasp a little bit because I've got to tie, I've got to tie that on there. Because what happens when you set the hook, this is gonna slide right on down, just like this, right down there. Now, you're fighting the fish on your sinker. So you want that tied on there, two or three knots, at least three knots, all right? And the, what I was talking about, the bobber stoppers, it's a, it's a, used to use for bobber fishing and stuff, so I call it uh, drop shot bobber fishing, you know? And uh, it's real easy to do. So I'm gonna got, let me get a package out and actually show you the two different types of um, bobber stoppers that I use, all right? I'm with the Bass Pro Shop for nationally, I use their product, but it's a good product. They're very inexpensive to use. And then I have another one that I use, it's called the Six Cents. Now there's two types of bobber stoppers, one for a heavy line, like six 10 pound test line, which is these, the smaller diameter line, or you can use the 10 and 12 pound uh, bobber stopper. So these are so easy to use. Let me just take one out of here and show this to you. People are always confused when they, when they hear me talking about it, but they actually don't get to actually see. Now, I'm gonna just separate them. They come in different colors, but if, if you can actually see this where the bobber, red bobber stopper is, there's a little loop right on the very top of that. And your line goes through that loop. So you stick about two inches of line through, you turn around, you grab the bobber stopper like this, and you just pull it and you pull it about two, three inches and it goes right through the line and then it looks, the aftermath looks like what I'm fishing with. Like right here, that's it. So I put a bobber stopper on first, then I take and I put my hook, my regular hook, and now I'm gonna face that hook always up. Because you know in drop shot, that hook's gotta be up so when the fish bites, it hooks him in the front lip like that. But right now I can slide that, so that's gonna slide up and down. So what I gotta do is I have another bobber stopper hooked on here. When I get the um, hook on, I'm gonna grab the lower bobber stopper and I'm just gonna feed this right on up to the other one, just like this. And now I'm ready. So when I catch a fish, I'm gonna show you how that just slides down and you have no more of that tangled mess. You don't have to cut your line. You don't have to do any of that. It's so easy to do. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh. So I've been fishing this for about two years now, three years, came up with this idea. And I teach this in my class at the Bass Pro Shop here in Mesa, Arizona. And some of you may be watching from other states or other countries, in fact, cause it's gonna go all over the place. So um, later I'll be coming up with some kits and stuff about, you know, just get the whole kit about how to fish these. So. In Arizona here, now, you know, I know in other states, um, they like to have their leader like maybe up here. But the good thing about this is you can slide this up or you can slide this down. Now, last night I was here and I was fishing a brush hog. Now, I use everything. I don't just use worms. I use brush hogs. I use lizards. I'll use all that. So at night, your bass are turning to crawdads, not shad. So what I did was I just lowered that down to like this and I was using a brush hog and all I was doing was fishing like four inches because that bass is seeking the bottom and he's looking for that movement on the bottom. 